Gordon Lightfoot is back. The master craftsman of Canadian folk song tours a lot, but he's just started recording again after a six-year hiatus. You know his work, the Canadian Railroad Trilogy, The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, and his all-time favorite, In the Early Morning Rain, the song that launched Lightfoot's career. But while his music is familiar, Lightfoot remains an enigma, staying mysteriously distant from his fans and the media. Well, tonight, Gordon Lightfoot at home. In this CTV biography, a very rare glimpse into a very private life. feeling in it it sets my senses reeling and my wheels begin to spin. It's a song from his new album, a song about soldiers leaving for the Gulf War, and one of the main reasons he agreed to allow the cameras in. You haven't spoken to uh, members of the media for a long time. Is it because you're a private person and it's hard to open up? No, it's, it's because... It's because uh, I, I really don't have anything to say that I feel personally is significant enough that I, I should use to use up the time. What he does do with his time is write a lot of music in this room, a sort of studio. You gotta work on, work on the idea before you start working on the song. I mean, really, you gotta, it, it, it's, it's a whole bunch of steps. There's, there's about, God, maybe 50 or 60 steps. That you, that you go through and write so, the song. So, if the idea is on there, what do you mean by the idea being there? Well, it, it's it's just a you know, little bits and bits and pieces that I throw together when I'm sitting around watching you on television. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to him. So, what comes first, the words or the music? The music usually, in, in my case, except it goes back one step further than that. It goes to a, a, a chord progression. And uh, there are five keys, and uh, if you have a chord progression, you should be able to go to the five keys. <laughs> uh, write a song in any of those five keys. Right. And, and, and construct a melody, and, and then start searching around for some words that, that uh, make a nice combination with the melody. And where do the ideas originate? I'm, I'm really interested in current events. I, I like to... Uh, to follow current events and and it's it, it's not really a tough thing to do these days because things are very there's a lot of really interesting things happening in the world in gordon's world things began to happen when he was a child growing up in aurelia we talked about his early interest in music and the early years of performing did you always know you wanted to sing and all and wanted to write and play the guitar is that something that came naturally i always wanted to sing as a child yes yes as a child too so it, it's a, a natural course of events. I asked him whether his music has changed since the days of Christofferson and Dylan. It, to a certain degree, yes. In what uh, way? Oh, that we make a lot more use of uh, the keyboard instruments now. It's not just your music that's changed, but, but you that's changed uh, 20 years ago. Hard living, hard driving, drinking. Yeah. What I, made you stop? Uh, I, I, I thought it would be better to, to pursue my goals uh, dry than than uh, than otherwise when you think back to that gordon lightfoot do you like him well uh, I, th there are certain things that that uh, that took place and certain things that happened while i was uh, drinking that i regret of course people do tend to uh, to get into a funny space when they drink at times particularly after they've been drinking for a number of years and they don't want to admit that uh, within themselves. And, and he says I family has helped too. too. A new wife, four children, and now two grandchildren as well. Yeah. To borrow from Paul McCartney, will you be singing when you're 65? Sure. 75? Uh, you know, I would be happy if I, if, if, if I were, were still working in the year 2000, I would think that would be nice. There's a plane and a simple answer to each and every quest. Going fast now. From every quiet dancer, who might be a special guest in a movie made for TV or a late night interview. You might even find them on the young 